people ask me all the time. They tell me they want to move abroad and they ask me where they should move, which criteria they should follow to choose a country to move to. And my answer is always the same. It's not that simple. You should do some research, do a lot of research, in fact. And you should first think if you want to move there for a while, you are content with living in an expat bubble where everyone speaks English and it's just a bunch of international people living abroad, fairly um, separated from the locals, or you want to actually be integrated, speak the language, um, make local friends, and, and live the local culture. Um, experience it. And depending on what your plan is, which one, what's your life plan, um, you should do different things, right? If you just want to live as an expat, then things, more transactional things like taxes, uh, cost of living, uh, real estate ownership, uh, and then, yeah, lifestyle things, nightlife, uh, internet connectivity, crime, and so on. Those should be the main thing. However, if you actually want to become if you want that place to become your new home, if you want to be integrated, you want to meet the locals, um, then you need to learn the language and learn the culture. Uh, it's not only it, le learning the language alone, it's not enough. You need to learn how the locals think, uh, what they like, what they don't like. If they see that you're interested in the culture and that you like the culture and you are trying to become like them, they're much more likely to like you and you'll make way more friends and everything will be better. It will make for a much better experience if you learn a lot about the culture, not only the language. But the good news is that you can do both at the same time. Uh, you probably know that the main way I always recommend to learn a language, uh, to learn grammar and vocabulary is through input that is reading and listening and in my opinion if you move into a country permanently or semi-permanently or at least you want to spend a long time there you should spend hundreds if not thousands of hours reading and listening or watching content in their language about their country their culture uh not only things like news or like popular culture, media, things like that, but also the history of the country, the cuisine, what, what, uh, what, are, what are people worried about? What are, they, what are the problems they're facing? You should know about all that stuff because, um, and I've seen that all the time. I've seen this a lot in, uh, when I've lived, in, I've lived in several places uh, all over Europe, and I've seen this a lot. I've seen, especially English speaking people, who have been living in Romania or Germany or whatever place, Spain. And they don't know anything about the locals. I mean, they can order drinks and they can, some of them can speak a little bit of the language. Maybe, maybe they're even like relatively conversational, but they don't know anything about the local culture. And not only that, they don't care about the local culture. They want to live in the expat group of international people, and that's okay. But if you do that, then don't complain about the locals being uh, close minded or the, them not liking you or anything like that. Like if you want, if you come to my place, uh, to my city, I want you to learn my language. I mean, it's a difficult one, but, but at least be interested in the culture and, and know about things, not just like being being like an, uh, an an adult Erasmus student, right? So you're just living here for the party, and that's I I'm, I won't call it disrespectful, but it's it's not something that people generally like, uh, especially if you move to move to a country where the level of income in general is is uh, lower, prices are cheaper, and you specifically moved there uh, because of the prices. Uh, if you go to Eastern Europe, 
Uh, and and that, this is a common theme, right? Western European, especially guys, move to Eastern Europe. And why did you move to Romania? Well, prices are cheaper and uh, women are better looking and uh, they like me more than in my... And, and you're like, you expect locals to like you? <laughs> you know? Um, you have zero interest in the in the country, in the culture, except for like the aforementioned reasons. But it's really not... It really doesn't make you likable. So my advice is to... If you're moving abroad, my advice is to... Do a lot of research first. Once you identify the key things that you're into, and that if you like the, if you, if you first to narrow it down to uh, like two or three countries that you're interested in, um, then you start learning the language of the country you want to move to, and you start by learning the language via input. You start learning about the culture of the language. So that, so that when you move there and you start talking to locals, not all the other, I mean, impressing them with your language skills is good. That's already a big plus. But then if they also see that you like the culture and you're interested in it and you know about it, it's going to be much easier for you to make friends there. So that's my recommendation. Um, just going to Warsaw and seeing people there who didn't even know that an uprising happened in World War II, where the Nazis destroyed basically the whole city. And that's a huge thing in, in Polish history, in recent history. And people like, how did you go to Warsaw and not know that? It's it... Anyway, that's that's my, my two cents. You should, if you move in there seriously and you want the locals to take you seriously and, and to like you, learn the, learn the language and be interested in the culture, learn about the culture, right? Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.